Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Another Crab's Treasure. The last time we left off, we fought the eel boss. And I remember I also respect. Um, but... There is something I want to do here today, because if we remember correctly, there was an area over here where, um... I, uh, I can pull up my map here. I'm pressing the wrong button because there's another game I've been playing that uh, has a, the map set to a different button. So there's a, there was an area here that I wanted to go to because it had specifically one of the lightning thing, or one of the electricity things, but I don't quite remember where exactly it was. Hmm, no, it wasn't one of the electricity things over here. There's one somewhere, I remember, but it's not that. Yeah, that's just one of those weird cubes. Okay, all right, we're back and we can see what we can get into over here, so Yeah, so we still need to find out what it is that stuff I'm pretty sure I've tried doing like the this thing to them and that doesn't work um, And I don't think I have another adaptation that would do it So we still need to figure out how exactly to work with those things, but hey Hey, I think I've got enough power to charge this boat now. What are you waiting for, kiddo? Let it rip. All right. Kablooey. I know there was another one of those somewhere. Well, boy, me slowly. You really did it, kiddo. Beats me how you learned to do a thing like that, but this sucker looks fully operational. If we hurry, maybe we can reach the treasure before Roland gets to it. Indeed, speed should be our top priority. Well, pleased to meet you. What's your name, dear? My name. I'm the Titan Slayer, the Shark Killer, the Bulwark of... This is Kitan. She's after the treasure, too, I think. I'm after no such thing. I'll find the monster responsible for corrupting this ocean and have his head on a harpoon. Why, what a motivated young lady. You're welcome to come board with us if you like. Coming too, I say. No matter the danger, I could never pass up the chance to witness such a history-changing event. And I gotta give Roland a piece of my mind. Once I tell him about all the bad stuff his company's doing, I'm sure he'll change his ways for the better, you know? Hey, can we come too? Of course, everyone's welcome on our little cruise. And my mom always said, two's company, three's even better, and so on and so forth indefinitely. Uh, I don't want to be rude or anything, but I would actually kind of prefer if we kept the boat a little less crowded. I feel you, Krill. I spy on my little eye. So what do y'all plan to do with the treasure? If you, like, get it first, you know. Personally, I've decided to give it all to charity. I'll find some place that helps out, like, sad urchins in need or something. I'll renovate the museum so everyone can share in the beauty of our ocean, I say. I'll save my bar and put some away so my kiddos don't have to struggle. As we all got super cool stuff we want to do with that money. Tell you guys what, if I get the treasure first, I'll split it with all of you. Oh, what a sweetheart. I'll do the same, I say. Wouldn't be proper to keep it all for myself when there's so many fine folks that could use it. Well, shucks, count me in. Surely there's plenty to go around once bottom feeders are squared away. Sounds like we're all in agreement then, Grill. Sorry, no. Pardon, hun. Sorry, but I can't split the treasure. I need the whole thing to get my shell back. My ah, Krill, I thought you were more selfless than that. You really keep going on about this shell of yours, I say. What's so impressive about it? Has it got a rich history? Does it hold the power to crush your enemies? They're covered in valuable shinies? Covered in pasta? It's mine, all right. I like it. I, I want it back. I liked my old life before I got dragged into this treasure hunt. I like staying in my shell and not talking to people. And I especially like not knowing that there were a bunch of zombie crabs in a massive ocean of gunk right outside my door. This one's stuff to get back to normal, okay? Normal, huh? Listen, kiddo, I'm sure you just loved your cozy life in the tide pools, but stuff ain't been normal for the rest of us from the very beginning. Quite frankly, I'm starting to think losing your shell for good might be the best thing that could have happened to you. Might learn you a little cot dang perspective. Hey, that's... Lay off the kid, lady. If he finds the treasure, it's his to do what he wants with. Sharon's all well and good, but the only one entitled to that trash is the one who gets there first. No sense in whining about it, you know? I'm whining now? We'll see if you whine when they throw you overboard, you little puffed up. Land ho, land ho, land ho! Always wanted to say that, land ho! Yeah, Krill was conveniently away from all of the problems that everyone else was dealing with, and thus, it wasn't a problem for for them. 
And now they're realizing, oh yeah, no, everyone's been dealing with this for a while. It's a pinball machine? The mouth of the drain. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Here's we barely arrived in time. See the rope? They've already begun extracting something. It's entirely possible they located the treasure, I say. Gird your carapaces, sisters and brothers. This barge will not go down without a fight. Hold on, they're not going to, like, attack us, are they? What do you think they're here to do, you little invertebrate? The treasure belongs to all of us. If Roland won't give it up, we're gonna take it. Plain and simple. Not have said it better. You have a warrior spirit after all, little pink crab. Well, golly, I'm blushing over here. Oh, God, I should have known this was a bad crowd. All right, Krill. Let's go. The old hermit never thought he'd get to visit the mouth of the drain in person, I say. I'm called the entrance to hell itself, and the legendary treasure submerged within. My antenna just is... My antenna tingle just thinking about it. This is history in the making. Okay. The drain, where all crab kind sins lie buried. How poignant that from it we unearth we unearth worldly wealth from the claws of the damned. Ah, but what choice have we? Bills don't pay themselves indeed. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. That, yeah, we fell. I was actually trying to fall- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no! We're infinitely falling! No! Okay, well that was unfortunate. Where is that even gonna put me? Okay. Oh my god, that was terribly unfortunate. Where's my stuff? Do I still- No! Where'd my stuff even spawn? I mean, I didn't have that mi that much microplastics. Oh, that's- that's weird. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Yeah, I just fell endlessly and didn't have any control over it whatsoever. Oh, how terribly unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, I only had like 4,000 microplastics, I think. So it's not the end of the world. But, uh, wow, that's unfortunate. I hope it doesn't come to violence. I mean, I'm great in a fight, but I can't help but worry about the rest of you, you know? I'm an empathetic little guy like that. It's a curse, really. Alright. I'll go in here with my zero microplastics. <laughs> At least I got an achievement out of it. I fell off a quote-unquote cliff. Alright, well this area is gonna be fun, I'm sure. A barnacle plus. We gotta try out our new attack power, see how much extra damage I actually do, and see if I, like, really notice it. So, I'm excited. Wee! There we go. Okay. Probably don't want to get hit by those. Jump. Over here. There we are. Hello! There's a lot less of us here than when we started. We can't give up now. It's fine citizens who laid down their lives and want us to see this quest to the end. There's still so much to do around the map, though. This can't be the end. My word, the mouth of the drain. This is begging for a photo op. Caps off to you, darling. This whole affair has been a thrill and a half. When I find a replacement entourage, I simply must tell them all about it. Yeah, there's still stuff for us to do around the map. Maybe that's, like, post-game stuff? Ow, that hurts you? I thought it was gonna shoot me up. But, yeah, I mean... I suppose that makes sense. Okay... Yeah, I was expecting just to get shot up by it, but that's- that's painful. Hey, I'm sorry I can't share the treasure. Just forget it, kiddo. We got one mission here, and that's to take the treasure out of Roland's grubby claws. Bickering can come after that. Alright. I mean, I feel like, Krill, if we just mentioned that we were getting super scammed by a loan shark, like, they- they would be like, uh, we're gonna get your shell back for the price it's supposed to be. Cause Krill is being scammed right now, and Krill does not realize this. But I feel like these other people probably would understand if we just explained the situation. They'd be like, what? Your shell isn't worth that much. That person's scamming you. Let's just go beat him up for it. <laughs> Uh, Thank you. Ooh, another muscle plus. 
Thank you. I don't remember which stowaways I put on. There's my tin can still. Of course I say, like, there's no way this is the end, but there's still stuff to do around the map, but like... I mean, we have maxed out most of our upgrades. No, I don't have all the stainless relics, actually. So we haven't totally maxed them out. Yeah, I didn't think about that. Boing. I can scarcely believe we've made it this far. How far we've come from our humble beginnings in New Carcinia. And we're so close. We're in the home stretch. So don't give up now. Power through. Believe in yourself. Give them hell. Take no prisoners. So says I. Bartleby Shoals. Thank you. Uh. Okay, I was about to say, is this ever gonna stop? Wait, what? Jump up there. There you go. <laughs> it was like not working for a second. All right. There we are. Um. Yeah, there's some hooks down here. We. We. And. We. Alright. A staple claw! There's 10k. Oh yeah, well I was walking around in the sands between back there, um, I did find a hair claw and a chip claw that I had never gotten before, just laying on the ground. Prepare yourself, vagabond. Only blood and shrapnel lie ahead. Really hope that's not true. Soon our sh swords will run blue with the blood of tyrants. This tide shall mark the start of the ocean's liberation. Stain not your blade till it pierces the isopod's frigid heart. It, yeah. <laughs> You're so cool, Kitan. Even if you are just like super wild and edgy. Okay. It's an ink cartridge, which gives me smoke screen and then shell shock. I mean, out of the equipped things I have, I feel like the tin can is probably still what I'm going to want to go with most of the time. I might enjoy some of the other ones now, though, that I've swapped my, uh, stats around. Alright, we're getting up there. I feel like I've seen this arcade machine before. Is this just like a- er, the arcade machine, po uh, pinball machine. Is this like a really popular, well-known one that they're parodying right now? Because I could have sworn. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. No one even showed up to stop us. I don't like it. Something smells about all this. Roland knew we were gonna show up, so where's all the resistance? It all really stinks of- A trap? Right you are, bottom feeder. See, us civilized folk have rules. As much as I dislike your little modeled crew, it wouldn't be gentlemanlike to have you disposed of without a good reason. But all y'all have just stepped onto my private property without permission. Oh, God. And where I come from, that's a crime called trespassing. I presume you know what we do to trespassers at Shellfish Corp. Inkerton, kill the city folk. Gladly. <gasps> Titan, yeah! And as for you... I'll send oh. you down the drain myself, you little flatworm! Oh my god, nice, um, what are those called? Um, Allen Wrench. It's just business, kid! Yeah, you like that? Roland Venture Crabitalist. Ow. Ow. Okay, don't get hit by that. Uh -huh. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Oh my god, look at how many you have! Get in there! Eat it, nerd! Need to eat too, actually. Here comes the thunder! Okay. 
Yeah, eat that, nerd. Uh huh. Gotcha. Um. Let's give him a show. Al, I need a shell. I need a shell. Give me a gotcha pawn. Ow. Ow. It's my shell. Um. This is what we were. You should ah. know. <laughs> Damn it! I was just trying to get the get a shield and get back in there. I almost had you though, but I wouldn't want to beat you on the first try. Anyway, so. Now I get to see a little bit more of what you got to offer, so... Alright, let's get back in there. I think I want to use this on you. Alright. Round two. Down the train myself, you little flatworm. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. just business, kid! Yeah, you like that? Mm -hmm. God, look at how much damage I just did to you! <laughs> We're so strong! Get parried, nerd! Okay. <laughs> I do so much damage, oh my god. And with the parries in there too, holy shit, this change to attack damage is wild. Remarkable work, Vagabond. The barge is ours. All yeah. that remains is to- Get wrecked, Inkerton. What the shell was that? Stupid, stupid, stupid little bottom feeders. Don't let any of these trespassers leave, boys. Oh, so. Sorry, I always post. Y'all just don't know when to quit, do you? You could have all stayed in your cozy little homes in the reef, watched a shellfish corp dug up this treasure and waited for that newfound wealth to benefit everyone in town. But y'all just had to get greedy. You decided you deserve this treasure more than the fine people of New Carcinia. And I would be remiss as a local business leader if I didn't punish y'all for this little indiscretion. I dare say that not a single one of y'all- uh, Shut up! I, I, I've been working my butt off trying to get my old life back! I'm pretty sure I've been working harder than anyone else! And now all of a sudden, I'm the jerk for wanting the treasure I earned? And you don't have to do anything at all! Y you just sit around and, and stuff just happens for you! It's not fair! It's all a bunch of bullshit! I'm sick of it! I'm... Gonna get that Krill, wait! Treasure! Ah! Hold on to something, y'all! Uh-oh. Oh no, we're going to the deep ocean. <laughs> Rut row. Okay. Oh, baby krill.
Oh, that's how I got the crack. Oh. Okay, that was cute art. A little bit of extra stuff about Krill. We're at rock bottom. Lights like in SpongeBob. Oh, my head. Where am I? It's so cold. Anyone? Can you hear me? Oh god, am I gonna have to find an anglerfish? Nemma? Chitin? Conch? Blue guy? Uh, Blue guy. <laughs> I think this is my fault. Oh no, now Krill's depressed! Oh no! <laughs> Look at our depressed walking animation! Oh, we can barely even... We can barely even hold it together. Okay, yeah, Roland got wrecked. This new build, I mean, I was holding off on it because I was like, I wonder if attack will just make the game too easy. And God, I absolutely demolished Roland there. I mean, I don't think it was particularly supposed to be a crazy difficult fight, but yeah, I mean, I didn't even parry that much. I only parried like once or twice. But yeah, we, <laughs> we do damage. What word comes to mind when you think of the Earth? Uh, hello? Is someone there? Uh, we're also going full voice acting right now? I mean, obviously this is a pretty climactic moment of the game and everything. Okay. Alright. Would you say the Earth is beautiful? No. It's mean, and it's rude, and it's scary. And everything nice in it just gets messed up eventually anyway. Oh. I know it's easy, I know it's easy for it to happen, but you can't fall down this downward spiral of thoughts, Krill. Don't do it. Don't do it. I, I definitely feel like I understand what they're going for here. Look at all those Benjamins. It's over. It's all over. But like, for real this time. There you are! Do you know what happened to the others? Oh, now you care about the others, is that right? They can get boiled for all I care, and as a matter of fact, so can you! Take a look, pal. Here's the treasure you had us throw our lives away for! <sighs> What's that? It's nothing! Nothing usable at all! I, I, it's so funny, because yeah, they use microplastics, but that's just a shit ton of cold hard cash. Interesting. No plastic, no glass, not even a single nugget of foam. Just this pile of damp paper. It's totally worthless. It was really all for nothing? So, so what do we do now? You want my advice? Go find whatever the apex predator is down here and jump in their goddamn mouth! Woof. Things have taken a turn in another crab's adventure. Then you'll finally be valuable to someone! Ow. Oh, come on. We're already- we're already having very, very rough, intrusive thoughts, but everyone's in a really shit situation now, so I understand why we're striking out at each other, but oh. <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry. Get away from me! Okay... I can barely hold my fork. Oh, I feel you, Krill. There's a lot of Benjamins. What? If the world is ugly, then you need to fight. Fight. 
to rip this ugly world apart. I don't want to. I'm tired of fighting. I never wanted to be any good at it. I'm never getting my show back. So what's the point? Okay. Oh my god, I got a hundred microplastics and I was like, did Firth just die? No, okay. I saw that and I was like, I'm guessing an enemy loaded in and fell to its death. That happens sometimes. Oh. Yeah, it's whenever we- it's whenever we walk over here. Infinite microplastics, let's go. Whenever- whenever the, uh, whenever the- the- the lighting shift changes. <laughs> <laughs> Infinite microplastics, yeah! <laughs> oh, no. So, I mean, one thing I feel like is going on here is, uh... Krill is just having a, an awful day, and so is everyone else, so they're turning, uh... Pretty pe uh, pessimistic instead of their optimistic, uh, selves. But also, I think they're, at this point, being affected by the gunk. I think that's what's going on, because that... The voice that's talking to me just sounds like a messed up Krill, kinda. So maybe it's, you know, the gunk having an effect on us. Also, I can't walk any faster than this, by the way, in, in case you were curious. It is not gonna be going any faster. Alright, Apex Predator, take me. I don't even know what the Apex Predator in the deep ocean would be. I don't even know if... We actually know yet. Deep Ocean is still a very spooky, scary place. If you don't fight, you will die like prey, along with the rest of this world. Maybe I don't care. Woof. I am surprised there's not. <laughs> Ow! Oh no, am I just gonna die here? Yeah, it's gonna force me to die. I can't even fight back. Alright, Krill. And now I've been eaten. Get off him, you varmints. Take that, and that! Phew. Looks like I was just in time. Come on, Krill, up and at him. I don't wanna... Hey, don't be like that, kiddo. We don't know where those crawlers might make a return. We gotta skedaddle. Just go without me. I'm no use to anyone. That's certainly true if you're dead, so up, up. Alright, I get it. I'm tired too, kiddo. You ain't the only one who's been fighting a bit too long. Yeah, I mean, what Krill said about, like, I'm doing everything. I mean, you were the one defeating all the bosses and everything, but everyone else was still making it through all the other enemies, fighting, surviving, going through the pollution. Everyone else was traveling through all of those areas with us. So although we were the ones to take out the big bads, they were still doing it. You better believe I got days where I feel like living ain't worth it. Shell, I had the bright idea of bringing two kids into this messed up world. Right now, it's looking like they'll be spending their whole lives scraping what they can off the seabed, just like me. But dying now ain't gonna change that, you hear me? Living ain't always fun, maybe not even half the time. Living's what we do, it's all we can do. We pick our sad little selves up, we put on our war face, and we shuck and survive. Cause our stories ain't ready to end just yet. You listening, kiddo? Krill? Oh lord. Uh oh. Am I like dead dead, or did the muck get me? Krill, okay. Krill, stay with me, kiddo. Uh, what happened? I'll thank the tides. I thought you were down the drain for sure. You just coughed up a lot of gunk, kiddo. So that's probably been feasting on your gizzards ever since we toppled down here. What do you think, Pops? You gonna be okay? Well, I must admit my doctorate is not of the medical sort, but I've seen my share of gunk infection and it appears he's fought it off for now. Suspect he'll be just dandy if he avoids further exposure, I say. We ought to let him rest for as long as we can. Sounds good to me. Oh, I'm back. I took one more hit. Um, hi. Is that? That's just a hard drive, isn't it? 
Where no 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 and then the hard drive no 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 that would just be a disc tray. Yeah, with a disc on the other side. Yeah, it's a disc drive. Never mind. Okay. Hi. <laughs> what's what's going on, Nima? There you are, kiddo. Glad to see you on your feet again. If you're able to move, we better push onwards before any beasties catch our scent. Pops on the head a bit. I think he's going to. I think he's got an idea of where we can head next. Next? Do I really have to go with you? Nothing I want to do, even if I make it out of here. Can I please just go back to sleep? Look, Krill, I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. We can't fight like you can. Ain't none of us surviving long down here without your help. Why did- I mean, apparently I can fight and kill things without even attacking. It ain't right, and it ain't fair. That's the way things are. After we escape this mess, if you still feel like taking a sand nap, I'll do my darndest to talk you out of it then. Right now, you gotta persevere, okay? For our sake, if not for yours. You do that for me? Okay. I guess I can do that. Help you all get out of here, and then... I don't know. I I guess I'll figure it out. Only one can ask, kiddo. I definitely feel you, Krill. Sometimes you just wanna, just wanna take a nap and wait for it all to blow over. Thanks for saving me. Anytime, kiddo. Glad you're okay. And by that, I mean an actual nap, not a sand nap. I get the feeling of, like, just having a rough day and being like, I just want to go back to sleep. <laughs> you know what happened to the blue, uh, Firth? A little money grubber. He wanted nothing to do with our little encampment. Ran off into the darkness like the little hatchling he is. I don't like his odds out there, but he made his own bed. Can't concern myself with everyone. Yep. Krillionaire. The treasure was worthless. For everything except some experimental fashion. You can change costumes, yeah. I mean, I kind of like what Krill's currently rocking, but let's look at our costumes a little bit here. Junk. Where was it actually at that you... Hmm. Here's my map. Here we go. Krillionaire, Captain, Blue Collar, Cowfish Boy. I do just like the plastic poncho the most, I think. Hi, little friend. Truly in the boiler now, aren't we? All that effort, all that fighting, and for what? Just end up in the drain where all damn souls come to rest. Shan't escape from this alive. Whereas ships adrift, dashed across the rocks of our own ambition. So says I, Bartleby Shoals. Okay, bye bye, Bartleby. Have you seen a, uh. Moonfish shell around here? What just happened on the map? Also, I have 7,400 microplastics. When did that happen? Every step of the way, you've seen the fracturing of this world. Water is turning to acid around you. Lucid minds coming apart at the seams. And deep down, you understand what it means. That this world is reaching the spiral center. That apocalypse is nigh. But do you comprehend apocalypse, little crab? Can you? Certainly not. If you had truly lost hope. If you understood that this world must end. If you could hear the silence that comes afterwards. All that would remain in your mind is an endless scream. You think you've hit rock bottom, little crab? There is so much lower you can go. Yike. Uh, okay. We're referencing the spiral, which has been referenced with this, too. Scarred with it? Never mind. Maybe not. I was thinking that it, it, it specifically mentioned something about that, but... Oh, you finally pulled through, I say. Suppose you're finally, fully up to date on our predicament? You mean that the whole treasure hunt was worthless? Yeah, I heard. Wouldn't be so sure. What's that supposed to mean? It means the possibility remains that we all come out of this as rich crabs. But we shan't find out if we get devoured down here, I say. So our first order of business should be making our way to safety. Tread forward a bit and you'll spot the ruins of Roland's Barge. Meet us there and we can plan our next move, I say. Uh, Alright. I haven't gotten any better ideas. 
Here goes nothing. What is this? Uh... It's a light. I do think I'll take my soda can. The Unfathom. Alright. Yeah, things are- it's hit that point where things are getting pretty crazy. What the? Ugh! Oh my god. Okay. Hello. Bye-bye. Oh my god. Excuse me? 1500 I just got for them? By the way, where is my save point here? Like, where do I spawn? Like, I don't have a moonfish jelly or whatever. A light bulb? Oh, this is one of the spirally ones, too. What does it do? Electrify my shell. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, this episode's already going on way longer than I wanted it to, but... Um, I probably could have just stopped in the middle of one of those cutscenes or something, but... I don't know. I always feel unsafe doing that. Oh shit, it's really, really old. Really, really old phones. Really, really old phones. These like the car ones? Or just an old phone in general, because they kind of look like the, the car phones that were a thing for a bit. What little I remember of them. Alright, uh, hello. Light some more things up. It's extra, it's extra rough that I haven't found a save point yet because, um... I, uh, hear the lawnmower is approaching. Hello. That is fake. That's what I thought. There's my angler. Oh my god. Well, we died. Well, I guess now I'll be able to see where my checkpoint is. Because, yeah, that's what I was thinking. We have to have one. Okay. So it's just back here with you. I suppose that makes sense. Alright, I guess I can stop now then. So... Alright, save game. I mean, I guess you could just save the game like this. Yeah, I haven't had to do it in a while. I've been always been working off the assumption that, yeah, we need to... You know, do it only at things like you do in Dark Souls and stuff. But you can also just quit in Dark Souls and it'll just keep you in the same area when you load back in, I suppose, so... Alright, let's go ahead and stop there for today. Things have gotten very, uh... Very dystopian, very, very bad mentally. A whole lot of stuff going on, so hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.